Uh, hello. Uh, today I want to answer your question about a starting business in Georgia. Um, uh, okay, I believe you know some. You have some basic information about Georgia that uh, um, where is located, how is the uh, population. But anyway, shortly I will tell you the. Uh, Georgia is a, a small country, around 4 million population, uh, located uh, in uh, uh, between Asia and Europe, let's say on the edge of Asia and Europe. Uh, the location of this country always from the old moment Silk Road time till today, uh, it was a very, very important uh, uh, for doing a trading business. One of the huge advantage of this country is Black Sea, which gives the opportunity to the traders to think about Georgia as a hub of their business. And uh, that's why I will tell you as well, the, in a first step, uh, Georgia is a, a very good uh, choice for you to start your trading business. Uh, of course, there are some other elements that I'm going to explain to you shortly that gives you a, a better picture to decide if you want to come to Georgia to do your business or not. Um, one of the important things which uh, I want to mention is tariff and taxation in Georgia. You should know that in Georgia we have 20% of profit tax and 18% of VAT. Uh, for sure, for uh, exporting and importing business, there are some other tariffs and the taxation, uh, the which which is uh, depend on a case. Uh, but uh, it's important to know that Georgia is one of the countries which is not uh, in European Union, but still it has a zero taxation to export uh, and do business for European country. That gives you a huge opportunity to. Uh, use this chance because the Middle Eastern country and Asian country they don't have this opportunity and easily you can this is advantage for you to compete with them because you know Georgia is very very good uh, place to do agricultural business uh, one of the biggest uh, business nowadays in Georgia is a wine production and the minor mineral water that they are sen sending to Russia and many other countries uh, what I'm trying to say is like this zero taxation uh, between uh, Georgia and European Union, it can gives you a huge opportunity to think about a production in the country and exporting to the other countries. Um, also, uh, about a, a common marketing law, there is no common marketing law here. Like, um, there is a free uh, trade business. You can have your own prices and your own strategy. If you do dumpings and so on. It, you won't face any problem right now. It's still, till today, we were, right now we are talking, there is no clear regulation about that. <clears throat> uh, uh, there is a, uh, another important thing uh, that uh, you have to uh, consider, you know, it's a, a Georgian law, is a civil law. And, uh, you know, just establishing a, a business here and company it takes honestly 30, 40 minutes. Uh, since seven years ago, Georgia government decided to have a smart and very uh, a modern uh, infrastructure. And that's why everything is electronic and it's very easy for Freiner to decide and establish a business. No complication, no bureaucracy and nothing. Just you decide right now with 30, 40 dollar. You will have your own business. Also, uh, a very clear law and regulation about taxation that uh, how you have to follow the rules. Uh, you have to submit all your documentation uh, once a month and it will be uh, submitted in a RSJ uh, system, which is a Georgian uh, accounting system. And uh, I believe that it's very easy for a Freiner to start a business uh, and also. Uh, it's a, it's a very it's a, it's a very uh, serious country and not corrupted and that means uh, it can you can feel safe to start a business here uh, another uh, thing and the last point uh, i wanted uh, to mention about a uh, trade and business in uh, georgia uh, is uh, anyway you know uh, I think, uh, according to what you just wrap it up and uh, sum up what I uh, said, like uh, 
location wise uh, regulation wise and uh, because georgia is a developing country uh, i think uh, it's a good decision especially to think about exporting products from georgia because importing we don't have a big uh, let's say population and market and high spender that's why if uh, because we have a, a very uh, good price for labor and also uh for utilities and stuff like here it's a it can be a good hub to product and production and just export it to other countries according to the regulation uh, which i tried to explain uh please let me know if you have any other question i tried shortly to tell you how is the situation in georgia hope it could be useful for you thank you